Hello, Internet. It's Monday. I'm still playing Dave the Diver. The... What's that website called? How Long to Beat says this game's about 24 hours long. We've played for about... 10-ish hours, so we're maybe halfway through. Um... Oh, right! Tuna event. I should go buy one of those... Tuna catching balls. We'll catch some of them to begin with. And then we can go try to knock down some rocks to help out Rinko Mirror Day. Never seen one of those. Oh, hi. Bopker. I just saw some tuna. Whoa, okay. Okay, and then we press the Q button. And that picks those up. Keeps hitting me. Oh, we can't, like, carve him up. Ruben Switch doesn't want to wow. How am I? I'm, uh, <laughs> I've been better. My, um, my circadian rhythms are all messed up because of the whole clock not matching what time my brain says it is. I need to find more oxygen. Or I can catch these fish. Ruben has to eat soon. Don't we all? Hey look, cat food. Also, I can catch the shrimp now, I think. I forget what I'm supposed to be catching. Oh yeah, Cleon. Probably just eat and then after that study. I got basically no studying done this morning. Whoa. Uh okay, problem solved. Ribbon's gonna watch, but just lurk. That's a good plan. Maybe a good plan. I may be less talkative today. Why do I study when you're done with school? Because I'm never done learning things, Ruben. I have a problem, and that problem is that my brain will not let me stop being a student. Even though I haven't been in school for a very long time at this point. Anything good? Eh. Underwater scooter's better than nothing. Let's see, we're at 18 kilograms of load. Who put all this cat food down here this morning? Is this a tuna? Ah, uh, it's a trevally. The dorsal fins look to me like a tuna is all. Reuben will never be done with school because of science. Yeah, basically. 
There's always new stuff to learn. No, more like science teacher. See, the sad thing is when you become a science teacher, it's still like... You still want to keep up with whatever the newest science news is and things that people have discovered. Ooh, a bomb. Let's go blow up that shark. But as a science teacher, the whole learning science becomes more of like a hobby. set up this bomb. We're gonna blow up that shark. Um, we just got eaten, I think? Okay, that was a mistake trying to blow up the shark. We need to find either an emergency exit or oxygen. One of the two. That barracuda is not a friend. Okay, so that was an absolute waste of a dive, but nothing wrong with continuing learning. Wish I had the mentality. You just gotta find something that you can learn a little bit about every day. At least we caught a tuna. And found some cat food. Or have free German TV. Yeah, language learning is like one of the easiest ways to have something to learn all the time. I mean, not that learning languages is easy or anything, but you basically can never 100% know a language. And so there's always more stuff to learn. Oh, a loggerhead turtle. What? I don't see a turtle. A picture of a turtle is a must-have sea picture. Oh, I did learn this weekend that um, sea turtles are apparently poisonous. I don't know if it's, like, because of something they eat or what, but I do know that you can get um, absolutely deadly food poisoning by eating sea turtles. Now, where is it? Oh, well, there's our picture opportunity. Now I just need to spot it. Does anyone else see a sea turtle? I feel like we're playing Blue's Clues here. Ah, there it is. Fantastic. I don't think that moray eel is going to let us take this cooking pot. Hmm. Can I shoot it? Well, shooting at it scared it off for a second. Okay, fine. I'm gone. I'm out of your hair. You don't have hair. You're a moray eel. Mind processing daylight savings. A little bit, yeah. I was really thrown off yesterday. 
I'm a little better off today, but I still slept. Technically slept in according to the clock, but not according to like how much sleep I actually got. No, I'll just leave you with your treasure. If he wants those fragments, he can have them. All right, we need to find more oxygen. That works. At least emergencies. We have oxygen now. Shock Harpoon. I don't really like the mini game the Shock Harpoon makes you play. There's some oxygen. Okay, now we're good. Now if we could just find a scooter. More oxygen will do. Are Barracuda good food? I'm gonna catch this seahorse on the off chance that we can make seahorse sushi and that black tiger shrimp because that could be sushi definitely ah uh, see I'm having a problem where my hand is resting on the left mouse button so I want to click left but I'm already clicking left. Not good for metalwork. Oh, I stayed longer at school for technology. Not good at metalwork. Probably takes a lot of practice to get good at using metal. This had better be the entrance to the... Nope, it's not. Boxing gloves. Neat. Weird, but neat. Sleepy gun. Let's see if we can sleepy this giant killer shark. No. Maybe not. That's probably not a good plan. Okay, now you just need to fall asleep. That didn't work. That didn't work. E. There we go. Gotta find the E button. For emergencies. Or escape from the giant shark. Uh, let's get a different gun. Shock harpoon. That's not a different gun. Luckily, if you do it after school, the teachers can do most of it for you. That doesn't seem very conducive to learning. What's this little guy? Big guy scad. We're about halfway on our inventory. Punched kelp. Kelp punching games. We're gonna have so much barracuda meat. It ain't, but if I, f but if I fail at everything, it 
Ooh, a Nautilus. That doesn't seem like food. There's a Cleon. We need five of them? We also probably... No, no. Probably need to find one of those flashlights. There it is. And I missed. Okay, one more shot. That doesn't seem to affect him. What if I drop this big rock on him? Ah, <laughs> that worked. Ah, okay, there was a... There was a stink bug. On my top of my head. It was very uncomfortable. Um... I'll take that guy's rope too. Ruben doesn't want a 5 on his, I guess, metalworking project. Tiny little under, like, deep sea seahorse. Let's see, you're not a Cleone. Oh, whoops. Harpoon. Okay, that's a basking shark. We don't want to go near him. How much do these Nautiluses weigh? A kilogram each. This probably isn't the best way to go, but... Oh no. Did I just punch it? Alright, we're getting pretty close to full up. And yet I kind of need to shoot these jellyfish to get that oxygen refill. Seven kilos, so I can't pick up any more of those. Uh, we'll just have to find other oxygen, I guess. Oh, wait. We got this one. Maybe we'll find something good in this box. Uh, yeah, we'll take the pickaxe. Sea snake whip. It's a living sea snake. Bitten creatures have a chance to be poisoned. That's cool, but nah. Ruben's gonna go. Have a good one, Ruben. Yeah, I'm not very confident in my ability to do a um, terribly entertaining. Captures nine fish at the same time. We can't really afford to catch more fish right now, though. 
maybe should have picked it up. I say we can't afford to, and I'm gonna get all these rocks right now. Like, we don't need to be carrying opal. That's weight we can't deal with. The beep that this UV flashlight makes when it refills sounds like a warning, not like a, you know, you filled up your... Oh, good, more O2. That will come in handy. Poison Harpoon. Oh no. Get away from me. I mean, maybe we can get around the basking shark? Maybe? Did you play any more big run? A little bit. Oh, hey, look, spider crab. If it weren't for that basking shark, I would try to pick up a rock and drop it on him, but... Yeah, basking shark. I don't want to be eaten. Shovel. A strong shovel with a good downward stab. Let's see if we can take out this crab. Ooh. That didn't look well, like, healthy. But he's still probably food, so... Uh-huh. Try to stay away from the red jellyfish. And then realize we can't stay away from the red jellyfish. Are you a friend? He doesn't look hostile. Then again, I thought the same thing about the basking shark. Basking shark, whale shark, whatever it is. Why do I keep picking things up? I'm overburdened already. What if I just... Okay, now we can't pick up anything else. I have to stop. I need to find either a way out or find a way to break those rocks. Maybe I should check on my, uh, Nintendo app, if I actually manage to, um... Get a good, uh, percentage on the big run. Because, like, if you get... 
in the top 20%, then they'll tell you precisely what percentage you got. I'm not sure why they limit it to just the top 20%, but they do. That will come in a lot of help. Probably save it though in case we um, need to run away from something. Like, uh, you know, basking shark perhaps. Or one of those giant explodey jellyfish. Okay, so this is the rock pile we need to break. Well, we gotta find a way to the other side. Some new gear in Krusty Sean's journey. Yeah, like, uh, cat, not cat. Yeah, cat, um, cat feet. All right, so we can't pick this up, but we did kill it. And it also used up a lot of our oxygen. That worked. Do we we don't have backup oxygen, so we still got a problem here. Shovel's kind of a dodge, honestly. Now I can just go straight down really quick. Doesn't use any resources. Other than my, um... Oh, God! Other than taking up my melee weapon slot. Almost around. I'm sure that whatever we gotta do is just right over here. It's gonna work. Oh god, more bomb jellies. No, I need you to die. You need to be gone. Uh, another one of these situations.
Ah! Okay, it doesn't do that much damage. Silly me going, ah, when I'm getting hit, but... I've already... I mean, it makes a little sense to get a little bit lost when you're in a place that changes every time you go down. Making this just an extra dangerous diving spot. We'll think about that as a shortcut for the future. Whoa! You little... It's okay. There's the stake. Now, why or how was holding these rocks in place? Don't worry about it. I'm sure not going to. Wow, human, good, we have a path. You're more useful than you look. The village is very close. Come through the hole you just made. I'll go ahead. Wait, I can leave now, can't I? Would you listen to yourself? Aren't you worried for Ramo? Besides, I have a request for you. So I would like you to come to the village with us. The Sea People Village? Me? How is Dave talking with a regulator in his mouth? Yes, there's a reason I came all the way up to the human sea. I have a request. Oh, okay. Just as long as you don't ask me to carry anything, because I'm... Got a full inventory. May as well refill with this. There's a clam over here, right? Yeah. Refill our oxygen. Are they just... They're not waiting over here for me anymore? I just gotta go down? Dive, dive, dive! Ugh, I'm getting real spooky vibes. Don't make me do a boss fight right now, I don't have a gun! Oh, what is that thing? Something just moved past me. Human, go ahead and be our lookout. But it's so dark. I feel like there might be something dangerous there. Ugh. Yeah, I've got a sleepy gun. And... Well, I guess I have poison... A poison harpoon might help. All right. You sense a dangerous creature's presence. Enter. Once entering, a bit will proceed. That will end with you returning to the boat. Let's see if we can find a gun down. There's probably a gun in there. Probably. Deep sea cave. <laughs> What is this? Why is there debris like this so deep? Oh, right, I can cling to these to avoid being sucked up. Oh no, those vibrations again. Something has to be here. Why did he tell me to come alone? Whee! Ok, 
Okay, let's hope that this thing gets defeated by, like, sucking in things it doesn't want to eat. What is that? Are there wolf eels that big? Oh, I don't think I can run. Oh, whatever. Okay, oh god! We are going to lose. Any gun is better than Sleepy Gun. Ugh, it looks really tough. Hmm, that shiny spot on his tail, it looks weaker than the rest of his body. Game, let me change my... Oh, so we can't dive anymore. Like, we can't dash. Well, he didn't manage to eat me when I was in this corner. I'm getting raided. That's... Well, I appreciate it. Kinda gotta focus right now, Reshi. Or, I think I do. I mean... I also think I might just be able to survive by staying in this corner. And we're out of bullets. So now we have to fight it using a poison hook. It's cool music though. Don't you eat me. It won't let me grab the oxygen. Which is a problem. Oh, look, more ammo fell. If we can get to it. That's a problem. Oh, I get hit by a rock. Woo! Okay, lucky. That fight was not going very well because I went in 
just completely unprepared. Huh, <sighs> how can a wolf eel be so big? Ahem, I was just about to come and defeat it. I guess I came too late. Haha, <laughs> you're stronger than I expected, human. Now, you see that big gate over there? That's the entrance to the village. Take the lead, human. I could really use some of that oxygen. Can I, uh... not gather this material since I'm overloaded? Can I drop something? Something heavy that I don't want to keep. Like maybe some of these comb jellies. Yeah, let's just get rid of him. Anything else not worth keeping? Well, we should be able to pick up whatever this is now. Wolf tail meat. That's probably worth more than... the stargazer. He's in terrible shape anyway. How much game do you got left, you think? I think I'm about halfway through the game. Based on the how long to beat. Numbers. Ooh, we're finally back to the village entrance passageway. Village entrance passageway. That's... Could you just say the village or the village entrance? Whatever. Ramo, you have a key, right? Oh no, I left the key back at the... Just kidding. <laughs> I have it here in my bag. You better be kidding. Ooh, I thought you would ask me to take you again. Let's insert the key and get back to the village. That's a very large key. But if you're underwater, maybe it helps to have very large keys. Harder to lose them that way. Sea People Village. They're really fond of their big, beefy man art. These sea people. Whoa, so this is... Haha, -ha, that's right. This is the Sea People Village we live in. To think there would be a place like this under the sea. Wait. Ah Wang. Oh no, that's a terrible name. How how did a human get here? Huh? Ramo and Swam? Were you kidnapped by this human? Tanzen awaits you. He's lost sleep worrying about you. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. No, it isn't. Say so you got captured by a giant squid. I killed the giant squid and then I brought you back. That's the whole story. We're done. It's Fishman Island from the hit anime One Piece. Yeah, something like that. Except these fishmen don't have legs. Oh wait, no. That was the that was one with all the mermaids, right? That was about when I stopped reading One Piece. Haha, ha, allow me. I rescued Ramo after she was kidnapped by a squid. Forget it, just take me to my father. It'll be faster for me to explain things to him. So can I go now? Why is there a whale on that sign? Oh no, we're just gonna go see the king. There's mermaids and mermen and fishmen and fishwomen. Oh, he doesn't look mad. And we all thought that he was going to be mad. 
Oh my goodness, Rama, my daughter. Where were you, my precious girl? Your daddy... Your daddy was worried out of his wits. Are you hurt? Did the humans do something to you, my daughter? Welcome back, Reuben. Wait, who is this next to you? I thought you'd brought a blue manatee, but this is a human. Rude much? What is going on here? I'd like an explanation. You know that strange things have been happening around here recently, right? For example, the tremors? The ice melting off the divine tree? Of course, Ramo. I've been looking into the causes. It's already been two years. You know our technology has its limits. Well, the ancient texts have all been lost, and we need to figure out new methods again. We can't simply keep waiting, Father. Humans are selfish, but they have good technology. Like Game Boys. We need their help. No, not the humans. They can't be trusted. They dirtied our home and even hunted our kind to put on display. Woo. That's... Is that where all those mermaid mummies come from? They're wicked creatures looking to hunt us and steal from us. You can't ally with the likes of... He's got a picture of him holding his daughter. Yo, be fair, a Game Boy did survive a bomb. Yeah! Yeah, those things can be set on fire. You know you can actually power a Game Boy with only two batteries? If you short the uh, outer battery slots? The only reason it takes four batteries is so it has extra long battery life. Which is probably why the Game Boy Color didn't take four batteries, it only took two. See? Something really bad will happen if we don't do anything. Um, hmm. When I was taken by the giant squid in human waters, Dave here helped me out. Swam said he was the one who did that earlier. Try asking him. Not all humans can be bad, can they? I mean, well, hmm, even, even if I wanted this, the villagers would not agree. Getting help from humans, everyone would find that hard to believe. If this man can gain the village's trust, I'll consider your suggestion. By the way, Reshi made a cherry berry from Pokemon with his 3D pen. If I want to see it in the Discord, I do. Cherry berries are the ones that look like cherries that cure paralysis, right? They're like one of the only ones I can remember the name of. Huh. The village's trust. How does he go about winning that? How about asking around to see what they need? Alright, since today's long trip must have been pretty tiring. Human, come back here tomorrow. You'll have to listen to the villagers' requests. Wait, I didn't even agree yet. How am I supposed to come all the way here? It is kind of a deep dive. Chapter 3, A Request from the Sea People. We've definitely gone places from, you know, Dave wants to go eat sushi to Dave is now helping save the sea people for some reason. Hmm, since you say you helped my daughter, Ramo, I suppose it wouldn't be fitting for my people to ignore your needs, even if you're a human. Use this. Magic mirror. Hell yeah. What is this? It looks like an ordinary mirror. This sea people mirror, once installed, will let you instantly travel to this village. Yeah, I guess he can help the sea people and eat sushi. We're gonna make Nautilus. Wow, is such a thing possible? Mm -hmm. The various disasters have caused our decline, but our ancestors were a very advanced civilization once. It's in there whenever I want to take a peek at it. We'll do in a second. Right now, all we have left is a few of their relics, sadly. In any case, installing this in your village will allow you to come to this village whenever you need. And we'll also make a high-powered water jet you can use for killing goblins. It will recognize your face, so only you'll be able to use it. It also operates from the light of the divine tree, or the sun, so you can only use it during the day. Oh, and I'll give you a village map to use. It'll help you find the villagers. 
Huh, a teleportation device? That's pretty amazing. I'll have to go back to the boat with this mirror for now. Let's see, cherry berry. The fact that it's kind of wrinkly makes it look more like a natural thing. I would eat that if it was made out of food. It looks like candy. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. The cherry berry. And if anyone who's watching this wants to see the cherry berry, they can go on our Discord. There's a link somewhere on Twitch. Anyway. We got Barracuda Row. We're gonna breed us some Barracudas. If it was made out of food. Yeah. So just load up some sugar into the 3D printer pin. I'm sure that won't destroy it. Chambered Nautilus Row? Is that food? Oh, oh right, we took that sea turtle picture earlier. Oh, you brought a picture of something. Can I see it? Oh, a loggerhead turtle. For those of you who weren't here, I learned this weekend that you're not supposed to eat loggerhead turtle because they're a protected species, and also they're poisonous. And if you get the kind of seafood poisoning that you can get from loggerhead turtles, you'll die. Rashi only burned himself twice smoothing it with a wood-burning tool. Yeah. As a child, I dreamed of exploring the waters on the back of a turtle, like in Nemo. That was all one dive, yeah. That was a really long dive. <laughs> of course, I would drown myself if I really tried that. I'll put your picture to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. <laughs> there are photo spots all over the place. Thank you for your help, and keep up the good work. <laughs> oh, right. We hired some people. Do I want to hire the ninja with zero skills? She's a ninja, guys! She has no skills at anything, but she's a ninja! I think I do. I think I do, Ruben. Guess I'll install this Sea People mirror on the boat. Mm. You said I could go to the Sea People Village with this during the day, right? I should go tomorrow. Mm. Oh no, look at the time. Bancho Sushi must have opened already. Mm. I should drop by and check if anything of note happened. Mm. Um, looks like I arrived too late. Why? Because, like, she might be some super secret really great character that you have to train a little bit. I should do a little cleanup. I mean, the sign up there says open. Huh? Miss Yoshiev, what are you doing here? Oh, my work ended just now and I was passing by. I saw the lights were on, despite the hour. Bancho seems to have gone home already. He looked a bit tired recently. I'm worried if he might fall ill. Hehe, <laughs> even so, I'm glad to see him working so hard again like this. No, oh, come to think of it, I heard he once gave up on cooking because of a certain incident. Dun dun dun. Yes. Back then, I thought he was gone for good. I wonder what it was about. Hehe, <laughs> well, it's nothing that secretive. I simply avoided mentioning it with him present, just in case it's still a sore spot for Boncho. I'm thirsty. Can you first give me a glass of beer? Can you pay for it? Haha, oh, yeah. ah, nothing so refreshing as a glass of beer after work. It's especially nice to have a view of the sea at night, like this, as I drink. 
I'll tell you now a bit about Boncho and why he quit cooking for a while. <laughs> it was 12 years ago. Flashback time. No shit. This is the Dugong Hotel. I worked here 12 years ago. It's a five-star hotel, with both tradition and a long history. It looks a bit old, yes. But at the time, the quality of the food and service had been newly improved. Yoshia, do you have a moment? What is it, manager? Well, a troublesome customer left a reservation. A troublesome customer? Do you know the actress... Lois Crawford. She made a reservation at our hotel. Lois Crawford. She was a leading actress with a long career. Her role as a spy in one of the most famous works, The 42nd Floor, was extremely impressive. She appears to have hit a slight slump as her new movies haven't been doing very well. Our Dugong Hotel is a luxury hotel with many years of tradition and history. In the past, we had nobles staying in our accommodations, and many notable films were shot here. Many people seeking that sort of old-era nostalgia used our services, and we had very high standards for the services we provided. The manager had spent his entire life at the hotel. It was like he was a living embodiment of his history. He had a lot of knowledge about the etiquette used by the upper class of each country, and he was very used to servicing those of high rank. Many VIPs sought his services. I've heard that Lois Crawford can be very picky, but we are a very high quality hotel with history and tradition on our side. I don't think there'll be any issue if she comes. Haha, <laughs> so there it is. Nobody can beat the level of services and staff at this hotel. We've won many prizes as well. Just one thing. You've haven't heard those rumors about her, have you? Rumors? Take a look at this. This is... She's famous not only as a chef, but as a gourmet. That's a blurb she published in a travel magazine recently. Hmm, it appears to be a description of her travels, but it's just her bashing on the hotel she stayed at. Gloria Hotels are the best of the best, and yet she wrote just a scathing review. Bringing up the bad does make a person look more professional. Her writing is mostly like this. What do you suggest we do, Yoshia? We're gonna accept it, because we're the best. I suppose we can't refuse the reservation, if only for the hotel's reputation's sake. In that case, we'll have to think about how we'll serve her. We'll take the reservation, but we also need to think of ways to satisfy her. I suppose you're right. Do you have any ideas, Yoshia? Um... Our hotel's strengths are our long history and tradition, as well as our high-quality service. The way we can satisfy her will involve making good use of these things. Did she reserve a suite? Yes, we will serve her the blue tang. From the future. It'll be great, and it'll be cheap. Yes, it's a suite. We'll need clean rooms and services that match her tastes. We'll treat her as a VIP. I thought that was the plan the whole time, Yoshia. Like, especially the clean room part. What kind of fancy hotel are you running here where a clean room doesn't just go without saying? I'll look into the drinks and the amenities she prefers and place them as I also check on the state of the room. Rooms. Is a suite more than one room? I've never stayed in a hotel where I had like more than room and bathroom. And maybe a balcony if I'm lucky. And about who will receive her... I suppose I have to do that. Thank you. There's no one that can handle such a tricky customer except you, with your long experience with many VIPs. I'm more tense than usual. And about her meals. We can provide her the buffet for breakfast, but we'll need to ready a dinner course. I mean, both of these could be seafood. Personally, I'm more a fan of Italian, but French seems fancier, generally speaking. We'll have fantastic French food. We have fantastic French food at our hotel. 
It's the pride and joy of Dugong Motel, with a Michelin-starred head chef at the helm. But you came at the most inconvenient time. Our head chef is in France on a culinary research trip. The sous chef has taken his place for now, and he cooks wonderfully as well. However, our upcoming customer is a very difficult one. Italian is better food, but not as fancy. Italian... I think pasta, and I think I can just make pasta at home, and it's cheaper than going to a restaurant. Like, pasta is not expensive food. I know Italian food is not just pasta, but that's my ignorant impression of it. So, I guess we'll go with Japanese food, because... 12 years ago, Japanese wasn't that foreign, but still. Dugong Hotel's Japanese food has never been its strong suit. We only served udon, or simple donbudi. Not even sushi? That's... People, like, people outside of Japan do not think udon when they think Japanese food. Am I wrong about this? Italian food is pasta and pizza. And pizza is very good. And worth paying money for, because I can't make that at home. Because I don't own a pizza stone. But I think an actress who tries to look like she's smarter and classier by, like, insulting other people's products, she's not going to be impressed by pizza, no matter how good it is. You gotta trick these kind of people. We've been making exceptional progress, however, after we hired Boncho, we've grown quite dramatically. Boncho is famous for his ability to reinterpret the use of ingredients, and his food was recently featured in an overseas magazine. He might be our dark horse. That means Japanese is likely to be our best choice. Boncho hasn't really proven himself yet. Do you think it'll be alright? Hmm, Boncho's skill is indisputable. However, one great drawback is that he doesn't consider the preferences of his customers. His sole focus is on letting people try new flavors. Ruben knows a very good restaurant. It's cheap and has good and large pizzas that don't skip on the cheese. It's been a long time since I had a pizza that did not have enough cheese on it. I think, what is it, Sabaro? Are they still a thing? Really bad mall pizza that's in every mall, or it used to be in the 90s. They didn't have enough cheese on their pizza, and the sauce wasn't very good. That's like the only actually bad pizza I think I've ever had. You have a feeling he'll choose Sharkhead. That would be a choice. That would certainly make an impression. That is what drives his creativity, of course, but this time it won't really serve us. We're dealing with the infamous Lewis... Lois? Lois Crawford, after all. I see, that's a good point. However, I think the best we can do now is try and persuade Boncho. I agree. Best of luck, Yoshie. What is Yoshie's job here? Boncho, are you here? Miss Yoshie, what are you doing here? Oh, you're here. That's good. I've come to check on the status of the manager's request. Look all you want. It's just a ordinary Japanese food kitchen. Ruben ordered a four cheese pizza and it was as big as a big plate. If it's not the size of a tire, that's not big enough. But I guess if it's just for you, size of a plate's pretty good for a pizza. Bancho was a peculiar man. He suddenly appeared one day, handing us a resume and explaining he'd been learning in Japan. All the sushi establishments listed on his resume were top tier, but Boncho never stayed in one place for long. He told me that he moved on each time he had learned enough. The manager had a long talk with him and then left the operation of the Japanese food team to him. He could always be found in the kitchen, busy with something, day in, day out. He researched food on his own when there were no customers. It was as big as a tire? There we go, yeah. It's been a long time since I've eaten a pizza that size by myself, but if it's good enough, I'll try. He hated to be interrupted. Were you practicing? 
well, yes. Training means thousands and tens of thousands of attempts. Practice without rest is the only way to produce meaningful results. I see. I heard that you never skip research and practice, Boncho. It relieves me to see you so hard at work. It had liquid non-solid cheese at the top because there was just that much. What if you put like a bechamel type sauce on a ch uh, pizza? That would be pretty good. It would stay kind of liquidy. What do you mean you're relieved? Boncho, would you be willing to try servicing a VIP? Service. What does service mean? Ribbon doesn't sauce. There's this one pizza place I go to sometimes that'll add an extra sauce on top of the pizza. And so a lot of time I get pesto on top, which is really nice. Usually I get like some way too many vegetables monstrosity when I go there. And so having a you know, a basil type sauce on top is really nice. Just adds an extra bit. Anyway, it's been about a year since you joined the Dugong Hotel. Dugong Hotel. Our Japanese food team, which was never very strong, received much attention in that short span of time. And we can't deny that your contribution to this was great. However, this means that we also get customers who want special treatment. That's right, we have an important guest who will increase our reputation, or rather, who might send it plummeting to the ground. Her name is Lois Crawford. She's an actress that's infamously hard to please, and also a gourmet reviewer. So you mean to say that I should try to please this picky woman, Lois, Lois Crawford? Yes, this is important, as Dugong's hotel reputation lies in the balance. Hmm... Do you maybe have any tips on learning German or French, except for Twitch? Uh, watch Wack Fu. That was a really fun French cartoon from... Uh, I think it started in like 2007. It uses a bunch of English loan words that probably piss off the people who were in charge of French programming, but whatever. It's still a pretty cool French cartoon. I don't know any German cartoons. The only German entertainment I can think of off the top of my head is that is that depressed loaf of bread. Have you seen him? I don't remember his name, but if you Google depressed loaf of bread German, you'll probably find him. Which is all a lot to say, uh... Find media you like in whatever language you're trying to learn, and then just watch that media. What do you say? For me, cooking has always been a battle with myself, not with others. Making perfect food has always been my goal, and that won't change no matter who I cook for. I forgot Hollow Wasp Berlin. Yeah... I don't know how much Hollow Wasp Berlin I could watch. Watching one episode was fun because it's just like, ha ha, I don't speak any German, but I kind of understand what's going on. And also the way that they animated those 3D characters' mouths was just so weird, I couldn't look away. I simply use the best ingredients available in the current season and the most suitable recipe. Will that be okay with you? Alright, we'll leave the individual dishes in your hands, Boncho. However, I would like to offer input on the method of servicing our guest. Alright, you're the expert, Miss Yoshia, when it comes to servicing food. Well, he's gonna want to do sushi. I honestly don't know what is in Kaiseki Diori. I just know that, like, if you go to a Japanese inn, you get, like, a bunch of little... like, really small plates and bowls with, like, a little bit of each type of food. And I think that's what Kaiseki is. But I don't know what those little foods generally are, other than probably miso soup at some point. 
let's have him stick with sushi, because, you know, it's Boncho. He's all about sushi. A sushi course offers various kinds of sushi in a certain order, with a few side dishes interspersed in between. It allows us to use sushi to allow customers to try many types of fish. What do you think of the sushi course? It's also your specialty. I'm very familiar with the method, however, don't you think it'll be too ordinary? If we choose to go with this, we'll likely use tuna sushi, pike eel sushi, or olive flounder sushi as the main dish, olive flounder being in season right now. That won't be very impressive, however. Hmm, alright. Since it's to be a dinner, I think a course that would be better than a single... I think a course would be better than a single dish. That means it's probably be better to employ a western course format instead. Though it'll be a bit different from the traditional method, I think I could add soup, an hors d'oeuvre, sashimi, side dishes, sushi, tempura, and dessert to the course. What do you think? Not bad. So what will you make for each dish? There's the soup to begin with. Fish head soup. Freak her out. Yes, I think that'll be a fine... I think that'll be fine up to the sushi. Tempura is next. I suppose shrimp would be the most logical choice. Hmm. It's difficult to create any impact with shrimp. We've kept everything pretty normal so far, so this is where we add a little spice. I don't know, sometimes when you get those shrimp that are, like, absolutely huge tempura, those are pretty impressive. I've been researching this very topic. How does something like this sound? You must have a good idea. Let's hear it. Shark. I'm thinking of a dish that uses a shark head. What? A shark? Can sharks be eaten? Sharks are a very tasty fish. This is the time of year when they grow fat, boosting the flavor. The meat in the cheeks, in particular, is a lovely chewy texture, which reminds you of both ordinary meat and fish. I'll take your word for this, Boncho. Goes against everything I know about sharks, though. But shark is too exotic of an ingredient. Couldn't we use something a little more widely consumed? Especially considering it's Lois Crawford. Good food will impress anyone. Anyone who takes a bite will recognize the food for what it is. That it is the best possible food that can be found around here in the current season. Um, I'll give it some thought. I'm not sure if it'll be okay. I can't help but think it's not that great an idea, Boncho. Hmm. If you serve that dish and things go sideways, the consequences won't affect you alone. Both the manager and I will take part of the blame. After all, she's coming to the Dugong Hotel, not to a restaurant operated by you. A hotel must seek to provide the most restful and enjoyable experience to its guests. And that's why you should stay at a hotel and not at an Airbnb. Because Airbnbs are landlords. And hotels are people who want to make you restful and happy. Nothing can be allowed to mar that experience, as the hotel will stand to lose by it. But there's no guarantee she'll hate it. She'll know from taking just a bite that it's one of the greatest foods. There's always an exception to the rule. She's an extremely picky person, after all. What a pity. I understand. I'll go with shrimp tempura, then. Though it can't compare to shark. This way, Miss Crawford. This keeps going. Very long flashback. This is almost as long as that flashback after you get out of uh, Midgard in Final Fantasy VII. Am I gonna get a save point halfway through this? Thank you. This is the chef who will be preparing your food today, Boncho. Hmm, he's younger than I expected. I was hoping for a slightly more experienced chef. Dot dot dot. Oh my, tight-lipped, are we? Perhaps my looks leave you at a loss for words. <laughs> ha ha ha, he seems a little tense. He's still quite a skilled chef, I assure you. I'll be looking forward to the food, then. I remember the service here being quite alright for an old hotel. I liked the carpet and the paintings on the walls as well. 
furnishings at Gloria Hotel have a quiche quality to them that I don't like. But to think there's no gym, that's a bit of a shocker. I need to exercise daily to maintain my figure. What is this hat she's wearing? Does she think she's in the 1920s? It was our intention that your stay be as restful as possible. Everyone has their preferred way of resting. Well, the bathing facilities were good, so I'll content myself with that. So, what's for dinner? Ruben's back. A Japanese course meal. Here's the course menu. The first dishes are... I mean, steamed egg is probably... A whale doesn't exercise. They swim all day. Swimming is good exercise. She'll probably prefer this even if it's a little plain. This is strained egg steamed with dashi and other ingredients. You'll find lily root, shrimp, ginkgo net, I don't know what that is, and mushrooms inside. This sounds like chawan mushi, so it's not even soup, it's like custard. Steamed egg? I was expecting something a bit more special. Well, I suppose there are quite a few ingredients inside. It was also made with love to bring out the best flavor for the guests, ha ha ha. The next dish is... A few minutes later. So, the tempura and dessert are left. What's the tempura? Don't tell me it's shrimp. The sort that's commonly served with rice. <sighs> the dessert's no doubt the usual fruit. I suppose I've tasted basically everything. It's hard to decipher her reaction. Have we succeeded? How do you like it? Are you happy with our Japanese food? Well, it's about as good as I expected it to be, I suppose. I suppose I could come here to eat every now and then, but why bother coming to a hotel to eat food that's quite average? Ah ha ha ha! Even so, I'm sure our food is better than that of most other restaurants. The moment I saw the steamed egg, I had a feeling the food would be average, and I was right. Oh dear. It seems Japanese food isn't all that to your liking. Ignorant of that fact, we serve you Japanese. My mistake, please accept my apologies. Nope, no shark. Bancho didn't get to cook the shark, he had to go with shrimp. Because we decided we were going to be boring. Whatever. It wasn't that good, but at least it was healthy. This hotel doesn't have a gym, so I suppose the food should be healthy at the least. Heh. Um, may I have a word? Bancho! Allow me to introduce myself again. I'm the master chef who works here, Boncho. She's too picky and they didn't risk it, exactly. Though I think that Boncho's about to. I'm not much of a speaker, so I've been listening quietly. I find it impossible to maintain my silence now, however. Oh my, do you have something to tell me? Apparently you're supposed to have better food than anywhere else, right? No, no, Boncho. Miss Lois here is just... It is most definitely my fault for failing to provide food that satisfies you. Will you not give me a chance to make up for my mistake? What? Oh, well, gosh, I'm a very busy woman. What you witnessed today weren't my real skills. I'll serve you food that objectively can be called good. Bancha, you can't be talking about... Hmm, so you're saying you have something else you think will satisfy me? Alright, I'll wait. But remember, my time is valuable. Your food had better be amazing. Bancha, you can't be thinking of... What is it, Miss Yoshia? Is there something I'm missing? All done. This is whole roasted shark head. Oh my god! This is... You fried the whole head? It is an amazing dish. The meat in the cheeks hasn't been cut out. I choose to fry the head whole to preserve the supple texture. Subtle, yeah, supple texture. You'll never taste something like this anywhere else. It's a high quality dish made using the best possible ingredients. Get that out of my sight. How can you call this food? What are you saying? Just take a bite. I guarantee you'll be transported to heaven. I am not happy about this. Is this what service is like at the Dugong Hotel? It's all my fault. I apologize. No. Bancho, Yoshia, you apologize as well. I'm sorry, Miss Lois. I should have been more vigilant. Looks are not all there is to food. Why do you refuse to even try it, Miss Lois? 
Bancho, now isn't the time to- I find this highly unpleasant. Is this some kind of hidden camera prank? Or a punishment? You'll pay for treating me this way. Don't think I'll let you get away with it. I'm leaving. Cancel my suite. Charge me a cancellation fee if you wish. I don't care. Transported to heaven. Did he poison it? Didn't we have Yoshia eat this shark head thing earlier? And she seemed pretty happy. Earlier in the future. Whatever. Man, Yoshia gets talky after she drinks. After that, Bancho quit his job at the hotel and left, saying he needed to train. It's my belief it wasn't so much the cooking itself as the ingredients and cooking methods that he researched. Mm. I see. Still, I admire him a little for not giving up on the belief that he's going on the right path. I suppose it was this stubborn side of him that allowed him to attain his current level of skill. Mm. Working with you now, he even started social media. I feel something has changed about him, and I like it. I think you're good for him. Please continue to get along. I'll do my best to help Boncho focus on his cooking. That was a very long day. What do you want, Udo? Sir, the picture you took was well received. Oh, great to hear that. I hear my superiors want to assign me another task. If I bring them a picture as nice as the previous ones... I have an offer for you. Do you want to join me and take a picture that will stand the test of time? And what are you planning to take a picture of? Do you know about manta rays? Of course, they're one of the largest of their kind. I have seen one of those majestic creatures firsthand. Good, I'm planning to take a picture of them. What do you think? Alright, I'm sold. But... But... They are nocturnal, so we need to move at night. And we need some lure to attract them. Yeah. Sir, I will prepare my equipment. Can you find a lure in the meantime? Mm. Um, I don't know what manta rays feed on. Mm. I am sure you will figure that out in no time. Yeah. I will count on you then. Tell me when you got the lure. Mm -hmm. Um, what would manta rays feed on? I thought they were filter feeders. Don't they mm. feed on like little, like, plankton and stuff? Ellie is the best when it comes to ecology. Should I give her a call? Giant stingrays at night. Oh, Dr. Bacon wants to talk to us too. Oh, Dave! You weren't around yesterday, so I was a bit worried. I couldn't get in touch with you via radio either. I was at the Sea People Village yesterday. You, you what? What happened? They feed on music. I'm not going to try to sing Big Man's part. Mm. Well, you see... Mm. Carried a princess. Mm. And then met princess's dad. Mm. And then they were like, you need to help. <laughs> I see. I envy you, I do. What a lucky experience. Mm. I'm not sure how I can help, but it's clear they have problems to deal with. Why don't you go talk with the residents first? I'd love to go as well, but... As you said, only one person can use the Sea People mirror. What a pity. Ha ha ha, what an unexpected turn of events. If you need any of my tools, don't forget to check out the Cobra shop. Mm. Yes, I'll have to use the Sea People, People mirror first to visit the village. What about collecting fish to serve for sushi? You can use the mirror Tenzin gave you to immediately travel to the Sea People Village. The mirror is solar powered, so it's unable to be used at night. Uh, let's call our little college friend. See if she can help us catch a manta ray. Oh, how's it going? Do you know what manta rays feed on? Couldn't you Google this? 
I know what manta rays eat. Oh, really? They feed on plankton at night. Drop something that lures glowing plankton at night, and they will come. You will need five kelp to lure plankton. Huh? It's made of kelp. Not necessarily, but they will work too. Just bring me some. You just hung up on me. Oh, you got it. Now, input this here. Woohoo, got some eco points. Hey, this has nothing to do with the lure. Aw, oh, don't be disappointed yet. Ta-da, the lure capsule. Oh, this is fish food. Just drop this lure and you'll lure all the plankton in the area. It's made of quality ingredients. Goodbye, then. I got the lure now. I must tell Udo about it. Ah, this must be the lure for manta rays. My mouth is watering. I'm kidding. Anyways, I need to be prepared to take the pictures at night. I will call you when I'm ready. Hehe. <laughs> so, now our mission is to build up trust with the sea people. And catch fish for this thing. Tuna. Big tuna. I guess we should also catch some, like, big predatory fish, just because they sell well. But I think for now, I'm just, I'm done. Ugh, I gotta hold this weird posture to play this game with my setup, so it kind of hurts my shoulders after a while. Um, <laughs> Ruben has six... 66,662 points. How do you... I thought they came in, like, points of, like, 10 to 50? How do you end up with two points? Anyway, um, I'll be back tomorrow. I'm not going to be streaming on Wednesday. I... Should be streaming Thursday, and I'm still trying to make up my mind what I'm going to do on Friday. I could go somewhere, or I could stream. Maybe I could stream, then I can go. I don't know. I'll figure that out. But anyway, I'll be back tomorrow, playing Splatoon like always. Bye for now. Oh yeah, sub-tiers. Ruben does get subbed sometimes. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. Y'all have a good one. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye-bye.